We just left our camp. Had a few squeezes of peanut butter and some coffee. We got a short day today. We got to go into town and resupply. Because we have no food. No food left. So, But it's interesting because we actually did a bear hang down here last night. And I saw comments on Far Out about it. And they were calling up killer trees. And I didn't realize that that was actually the caution tape that's around them. I'll show you. So they mark off a bunch of these trees. There's even like signage on it. So you don't sleep underneath the killer trees because they could fall down at any time. And I think that's actually the tenting area for the shelter that's coming up. So little books, but there's a tenting area where we stayed high a little, little further back. But yeah, you gotta watch out for them trees. Ain't no joke. I think we're getting close to where our shuttle's gonna be picking us up. It actually ended up being like a mile and a half, maybe a little bit more, closer to two miles longer than we thought. There was a um, confusion because the app said it was only 3.6 miles away and the book was saying it was like five miles away. So we don't know what was up. Apparently the app hasn't gotten the memo because the book was right. But thank goodness we always book our shuttles and give ourselves extra time just in case anything happens and because we don't know the terrain. We don't know if we're gonna be climbing over rocks which always slows us down or anything. So we give ourselves extra time and I think we'll be hitting the spot right on time. We're almost there. I've been hearing some cars. I think we're almost there. Get some food. We just checked out of our motel room here in Marion. And we're going to start. <laughs> we nothing had, needs to be said nothing, about the motel. We had three options and I called all of them while we were sitting at Taco Bell to see if they had laundry because that's important for us. We need to be able to clean our clothes. And only one of them had laundry. I'm not sure any of the three options were going to be stellar, so... No, no. Uh, I don't think it mattered, honestly, which one. I'm just excited to sleep in my tent tonight. Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least we got clean clothes. Yeah. So there's and that. And we showered. Yeah. And, most importantly, too, besides bathing and stuff, we got all of our electronics charged, so we're good to go. Lots of food. Lots of food, yep. So, ready to get back on the trail to forecast. Even though there are some dark clouds up there, it shows that we have like a solid week of stellar weather. So, should be good, yeah. Should be good to go. Gonna go get a little pick me up at Starbucks and get a ride back to the trail. So, we've been here in town for a while. We, uh, Went to Starbucks for a nice coffee. And we're sitting there for a while. I've been working on some videos for you guys to see. So we've been uploading those. And then all of a sudden, the whole town just lost power. So. <laughs> uh, 
now we're waiting outside of Walmart here. There's this like shuttle that runs through the town and every now and then the, the shuttle will go up to where we need to get back on trail. And I think it's a free shuttle. I don't know. Their website's kind of hard to decipher sometimes. But we're just waiting on that to get us back up to trail. Yeah, we had heard a loud boom um, when we were at Starbucks and we think a transformer went out. So the whole town, all the shops around here kicked everybody out because there's no power but uh hopefully head back up soon shuttle should be here in about 30 minutes and uh get back on the dirt we're a few miles in i don't know how far we're gonna go we got kind of a late start that's all right we we're just hanging I really wanted to get some videos up and edited. Um, so yeah, we got a little bit later of a start, but that is all right. I know we're really close to Atkins. Probably swing in the gas station there tomorrow morning. And keep on trucking. It's always nice to get back on trail. Not that I don't like sleeping in an actual bed. But it's just nice out here. And you get a lot of time to think and it's quiet. made it to our campsite here. She's over here. We've just eaten some dinner. And we went a little, I don't remember what that shelter was called. We didn't stay there. We went a little bit past. We're, we're just a few miles outside of Atkins. So we'll probably be into Atkins tomorrow morning. And then See what tomorrow brings. It was a good day. I mean, you know, we only did short some short miles, but it was good. Nothing too crazy. Mm -hmm. Good weather. We looked at the forecast and we should be good for like the next week is what it looks like. So that's nice. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm ready for bed. Gotta go hang these bags. Yeah, we gotta go do our bear hang. Maybe I'll take you guys along for that this time. <laughs> we'll see. So first we have to get rocks and put it into the rock sack. We're going up here. Looks pretty good. with the bear hang is it has to be far enough out from the tree that a bear can't get it when they climb up but also from the branch as well so it's kind of got to hang like out here in the middle because they could just crawl up the branch
That's it. We can totally make that work. Yeah. All right, now I gotta help out. I'll show you how we rig it. So I know it's getting kind of dark out, so it's hard to see, but. So we got our bag up right there. So we bring it up and then we tie it over so that it kind of suspends between the two trees. So even if the bear was to climb up there, they couldn't reach it. Any direction. So great job, boo.